fancied a bit of a change today. Going around my usual route in Cardiff, even though we found that amazing board game last week, just gets a little bit samey. So today, the bunting is flying. We are in Merthyr Tydfil. Let's see if we can find some bags in the charity shops. Not this one. Big up the Welsh Valleys. First find of the day, we got some dinosaur shoes. They're only three quid, BBC branded. They make noise when they walk. Anyone do like this. I see. You're looking at about 15 quid all in. But they're going to be fun marching around the town, eh? I didn't want to walk. Oh, look at this. Absolute banger. The music's playing, so I'll have to tell you a bit more about it outside. How much is it? One ninety five. Yeah, I'll tell you about outside. What a banger. This teddy bear makes coming up the valleys worthwhile. Just this alone. Now, the reason this caught my eye is my brother used to have one of these growing up. It's a Fisher Price Rumpel. They were made all the way through the 90s. He had a dark brown one. This is the honey variant. I'd imagine there's collectors out there who are trying to get every color. That's the only reason why I can think the second-hand market for these is so strong. Of course, the nostalgic value with them as well. Right, we'll just pop over here a sec. I just wanna have a quick look at the sold listings, make sure we're getting this right. So looking at American souls, they regularly change hands for about 50 to 70 pounds. Looking at the UK market, there are only three of these currently listed. A white one, a yellow one, and a dark brown one. The last tan color one sold for 115 pounds. Now granted that was at the end of March, but all it takes is the right collector with a bit of money, having that nostalgic moment. You price these high, waiting for those people to come along. <laughs> I can't believe it, but that's why we do it. That's why we do it. And I only looked at this, right? Because my brother had one back in the day. In fact, I'm gonna text him. Let's text him. Have a look at that, he's still got it. He's still got his old brown one. Isn't that always the way? You see it so often, people passing on their old toys to their kids, grandparents digging stuff out the loft, saving them for the grandkids. And some of it can just be worth silly money. And you've got kids, the kids don't care how much they're worth. They just want a teddy bear. They don't even care that it's this type of teddy bear. I, I love it. I hope he finds it. We've got a really old version of the game of life. This one is from 1978. £3.50, sold you can push 20 plus postage. Thing is, the box is absolutely wrecked on all sides. What is the chances of that being complete? Let's have a look inside. Board looks okay. I may be doing this a bit of a disservice to be fair. Spinner looks like it's got all of the white pieces. Don't know what's going to go in there. Maybe those blue cards are going to go in there. What's going to go in that square? We got some cars with tokens. That's peeled off something. Maybe there. I may be doing this a bit of a disservice. It might be complete. But 20 pounds plus postage, that is the very top end. You're looking for pristine box, pristine pieces. There's too much going on with that, too much risk. A couple of things here caught my eye. Who remembers Tamagotchis? I mean, yeah, that isn't an official one. Still, brings back a few memories. Yo-yos. I always search up yo-yos whenever I see them because some of them can sell for tons. Whoops. This is a Yomega. Fireball, four quid. Soldier looking 12, 13. Not enough in it to pick it up. But I'm always on the lookout. I've been getting into swimming stuff a bit more. Last weekend I found a Zog's Batman top and also that swim fin. I've got them both listed and the soles look pretty promising. Well, this is a mermaid's flipper. Well, looking on Google, a mono fin. It's only three quid. 
and swords if you can find the right brand are really strong problem is i can't see any brand on this nothing to help me size it i know what i'm like that is just going to go into the pile that just needs a bit too much effort it will hang around for ages i won't ever bother doing it so we're going to leave it What's that there? Size large, two ninety nine. Cardiff City shirt. FA Cup final post. Ah, that's two thousand and eight. Let's have a look. FA Cup badges on the sleeves, comms direct on the front. It's a nice looking shirt, that. Yeah, we'll get that. Nice little shirt, this. And actually, it could be a pretty special one. Whenever I pick up Cardiff shirts, they usually go for. 12 15 if you're lucky 20 quid that's what i was thinking this was but actually when i got back home checking a few sold listings a couple of key things about it firstly it's from 17th of may 2008 that is 15 years to the day today how spooky is that so it's got age to it but also because it's a commemorative fa cup shirt it's going to bring back a lot of good memories isn't it massive important moment in the club's history and any unique identifiers like that are going to make this really special to a die-hard Cardiff City fan. Recent solds for a size medium, about 60 quid. Size large, could I push a bit more? Maybe. But because I only paid a couple of quid for it, I don't need to squeeze every bit of profit out of it. If I get a reasonable offer, I'll probably take it. But I tell you what, as size large goes, it is absolutely massive. A couple of pairs of Adidas shoes down here. Here's a Neo Adidas, UK size 10. Pretty vibrant blue, aren't they? Five quid. <laughs> then we got this pair of Adidas night joggers, all white, purple on the size, size nine and a half. These were a bit cheaper. Four quid. No jelly cats today. None today. So no jelly cast today. We've looked around lots of different <laughs> shops. <laughs> He's not too fast. But what would be great is if you find jelly cats this week, put them on your Instagram stories, tag me. I'll show the jelly cat guy and we can see what jelly cats you've been finding out in the wild. Hi. <laughs> One of the main reasons we come at Mirtha today was to check out Infinity Toys. Got a great selection of retro toys, some retro games, PlayStation, oh I remember Zool, Zool from back in the day, some loose Pokemon cards, a Pikachu, there's an old Pikachu camera up there, Remember yeah Detective Pikachu good spot, tribal Game Boy Advance there, 45 quid, it's not too bad that is. Transformers, Return of Optimus Prime, PlayStation for 30 quid. There's tons of wrestlers down there. Funkos, books. Tons of binders full of Pokemon cards, magic cards. Mixed toys. Awesome. Check this out, a box of Transformers. Combinable Sunstreaker, 20. Got rescue bots in here. That's G1. For a tenner. A cool classic retro toy shop hat. The guy in there, he just knows everything about retro toys. Knows exactly what they're worth, knows exactly all the accessories. You know the type of guy. But once you get chatting to him, he's really keen for a bargain. And if you can bundle stuff up together, I'm sure you could get some decent pricing. For me, it's all about the Transformers though. And unfortunately, his selection wasn't great. Lots of rescue bots, nothing there for me. But next time I'm up this way, I'll be popping in there to see if he's got any different stock. I do need to show you this though. From 1985, I picked up Metroplex and I won this on auction. 30 pounds plus postage, absolute bargain. The photos in the listing were horrific. The description was horrific, but it does come with the original box. I've got that inside, it is wrecked mind. 
and it does come with most of the accessories as well. I've got the little tank and the little car. It is missing a few little pieces, but it's got all the missiles. Absolute bargain price. There are still deals out there if you look hard enough on eBay. And although I didn't pick up anything from the shop, I have added another one to the collection this week. Sales on eBay this weekend have been pretty shocking. Hands up, it's entirely my fault because I just haven't been listing anything. Saturday, I went away with a family to a big dinosaur park just outside Swansea. That was awesome. But really, I've been playing on the new Zelda game on Switch. Time I should be putting into listing, I've been putting into this instead. But why not, eh? As soon as the novelty wears off on this, I'll be back on it again. But hey, still sold five things. I only picked this up at the boot sale last Saturday. Jurassic World Indoraptor. Put batteries in him, his eyes light up, make sound. I paid two pounds for him, he's gone for 15 quid all in. Another 15 pound sale, I bundled together Mario Kart on the Wii, disc only, with this official Wii steering wheel. We don't have a Wii anymore, sold it, upgraded to the Switch and we've been playing Mario Kart on that. These have taken ages to sell and actually I did try and bundle these together to make mine more appealing. There are lots of Mario Karts up on eBay. For some reason, no one's been buying mine and actually I had to take an offer to sell it for 15 as well. This was a surprising little sale. I sold the SpongeBob SquarePants Top Trump set. Type of thing you'd spend 20p, 50p if you see it in the charity shop. Sold for £8.50 all in. This was a bit of a disappointment. This Fisher Price camera is from the late 60s. I bought this at the boot sale a couple of weekends ago for two quid. Look through the little viewer and click the button and it's got a little slideshow on the go. And up here, spin the wheel and you get lots of different filters across the viewer as well. It's really cool. Reasonable condition, no scratches or any major discoloration on the artwork on the back. It's not very valuable. And actually this is the fourth or fifth old Fisher Price toy I've picked up. And the ones I've picked up don't seem to be selling and they're not very valuable. It's only gone for a tenner. And the best sale for me this weekend, Ryu off a of Street Fighter, the Funko Pop. I'm still honing my collection, getting rid of some of the ones that are on the fringes. That one went for £16.50 all in. A couple of late night sales have come in, but I've still got all the packaging material out. So we might as well get these out the door. This is the first one. It is a die cast Thomas the Tank Train by Ertel. This one's called Daisy. She's gone for nine quid all in. And the other one is up here, I think. This is a blast from the past. Ah, there it is there. I have had this for ages. Don't know why it's sold now, but I'm glad it has. This is Ultron. He's gone for 15 quid all in. And to wrap up the midweek sales, I sold three Power Ranger motorcycles with figures. They've on global shipping, 15 quid all in. But these did pretty well. Four sealed cassette tapes, 25 quid all in. Shout out Adam Malpass. First comment to last video, another one to add to his collection. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I will be going to a boot sale next weekend. Just not sure which one yet. I'll make a decision closer to the time. In the meantime, I better head inside, do a bit of listing, try and boost my eBay sales. Catch up with you next weekend.